hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss an important concept in power pages called its custom layout you have seen that normally when we create power pages websites you see the look and feel looks like this right there is a menu bar, menu bar here in the right side right top corner and logo then some contents right now this is the uh, template that we use which is available by microsoft while creating power pages right but what if you want to completely uh, re change or completely change the uh, layout on your own for example i'll go to w3schools.com and i am i'm checking a web template here the website and this looks like this okay the site look like this so i want my power pages look like this template right the menu should be like this and the logo here and the hero image will be available here with the logo with a shadow and all that right and with some local content i want to make it like this right so how you can create this type of custom layout for your power pages we will discuss today now let us go and work on that so go to double3schools.com and uh, here you will find architect template you click on try it yourself and copy the entire code okay now this type of website we are going to build right so if you just go to the power uh, portal management model driven app and create a web template you are going to create a custom template means you have to create a web template so click on new and give a name here let's say custom layout one okay and choose a website on which website you want to deploy this i want to deploy on the future website and put the source code here completely whatever you copied from w3 schools and make sure as we have copied external website information you just refresh the uh, correct things so just remove the html tag it is not required and uh, just remove the html tag and body these are not required because this is encircled in, in a web template so change the title let's say uh, for example br architect this is the website name and uh, here wherever you will find images you define the absolute url of the image okay so absolute url will be uh, how to know the absolute url just right click any image from that template and click on open image in a new tab then you will find the url so you just copy this and put it here before the source wherever the images are used you have to do this so keep changing the image links otherwise it will not render because images are hosted in the w3schools.com right so we have to give the um, absolute uh, url address of that image if it would be hosted the images are hosted in our own server then it will not be a problem so quickly changing the URLs. any images are used in this template that's why it is taking time Okay, now it's done. Now let me save it. So the custom layout is created using the external uh, templates. Then I will create a paste template. I will go to paste template and create a new paste template. It's a custom layout. OK, 
okay then you have to choose which website then type is web template and choose the web template the web template is uh, custom <coughs> layout one i don't want to use the header and footer of existing uh, uh, portal so click on save now page template is also created now i can use this page template to create a web page so go to the design studio of power pages click synchronize configuration now here i can click on new but this time without using a standard layout i can use custom layout and choose my template here custom layout template this is the template i have created so choose this and give a name of the page let's say i want to give uh, the landing page now as soon as you click on add the page will render automatically okay you can click on this preview website or preview desktop to see if it is showing properly or not you see guys this is the url of my power portal and this is the page landing page and here the template is showing as expected as i have i have seen in the w3schools.com right the menu is here right now i can change anything in my uh, template right using the web template right let's say i want to add another menu item here so i will go to the page template i'll go to the web template and add some links here let's say i want to add sign in link okay then i have to give the link of the page right and i want to let's say i want to change the jpg image okay let's say i want to use a jpg image from uh, pixel so i can use this image for example let me use something this one let me copy image address and use it here directly as a url source and save it let us see how it look like synchronize and preview you see now the image is changed right so this way you can uh, create your own template and add uh, html uh, links and the logo of your choice but the problem is how to add local content because if you keep adding this type of pages using that custom layout template you cannot use you cannot add your local content okay so how to add that local content right to add local content you have to keep some placeholder let's say after this image i want to add a placeholder here so that only that placeholder will will hold the content related to landing page other things will remain same so what i can do i can go to the page template and this is the header and after that i want to add a liquid code to include a placeholder or, or local content the syntax is like include single quote Okay, this line of code creates a placeholder to place local content inside a master, inside a local page. So click on save. Now, synchronize configuration in the Power Pages Designer Studio. Now click on preview. Now, if you scroll down in the uh, page, you will find there is a section called as to add component, right? here you can add some components let's say i want to add a component uh, i want to add a section and this section will be let's say two column section okay and let me delete this section in this section i want to add a add some uh, video here so i can click on video i can resize this 
I can change the URL. Let's say I want to display my video URL, so I can copy link address and put it here. You can click on this YouTube also. Right now the uh, video will be loaded. Okay, you can change the section height. Let's say the section height will be 200 pixel and i can change the video height also okay let me change to something like 300 so okay here i can add some components let's say i want to add some text for dynamics 365 training Training complete okay and I want to add a button for example so I can choose a button here and give the button image get a callback okay you can redirect something to mail to or send email support you can use mail to functionality and click on so it should be okay it should be http so direct mail to is not possible so you can use either a link to a different page or something else but let me use just hash for now or something let's say softchip.com HTTPS, right? Now let us see how it looks like. Click on desktop, view, debut, and if I scroll down, you we'll see this. Now you see the button, you see the video and your local content. In addition to this, the other things will be displayed here, right? And if any other page also using this, uh, template then also you can change this content local content because it will create another place also in that page right so you can change the background color let's say to display like this ultimately you are trying to change the styles You can add some paddings, for example, 30 pixel okay, and preview it. Right. So now it looks like better. You can set the horizontal uh, alignment of the section and vertical section, vertical alignment. Now you can test this. If you want to change this section's uh, uh, background image, background color, you can change this. So I want to change this as a heading to and preview this. Now, this is not a you know a small thing. So you have to define properly how your template will look like. Then you can add your content and so on. So I have I have told you how to use an existing custom template and use your own uh, local content that will be embedded in your template right so you understand how to change if you can change anything from your uh, template that is available here so try this and let me know if you find any issue i'll tell you see you guys bye